Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good to have your attention. And welcome to our ribbon cutting ceremony for Clapham University Downtown Center. This morning, we have two distinct components on display. Number one, Clapham University takes tremendous pride and commitment in being a vital engine of transformative change in Orangeburg. Number two, this downtown center is the foresight and vision of our president, Dewan Warmack, who is convinced that Clapton's potential for greatness is unlimited. This structure will serve a vital need in our community. It provides visual reality of Clapton's world-class faculty who will lead the charge for learning and training that would benefit the citizens of Orangeburg and neighboring communities. The Center for Social Justice would be a vehicle to address civil discourse that will lead to accountability, free to reform to our justice system, racial equality, discrimination, and diversity and inclusion. The Global Education Center that is housed in this building will enhance operations and allow for on-site programming for certificates and workforce readiness. Altogether, this is indeed a win-win situation for Claflin University, the students it served, and the Orangeburg community. Again, welcome to our ribbon-cutting ceremony. Thank you, Ms. Hudson. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is indeed a joyous occasion. As I sit here, reflect on August of 2019, when I arrived to Claflin University, and I was asked about my vision, standing in front of the fountain. And I identified these things I called the five C's. And my fifth C was a commitment to workforce and economic development. I feel Claflin University has the oldest HBCU in the state of South Carolina, with a rich history of being a pioneer amongst diversity and inclusion before it was cool. You think about our founding mission and our principles. And I said then, we have a civic and a moral responsibility to be a beacon of light and support the revitalization of downtown Orangeburg. Downtown Orangeburg deserves it. What Clemson is to that area, what USC is to Columbia, what Anderson University is to Anderson, Claflin University deserves to be that to Orangeburg, South Carolina. Speaking with the mayor when I first arrived, the mayor said that he has this commitment to making sure this is a vibrant place to live, work, and to play. Clapham plays a significant role, and this is our first step in that process, this downtown center. This center will serve our center for social justice. And when I think about social justice, it focuses on four components. We think about the health care disparities that hit the African American community. When COVID-19 manifests, African Americans were dying at a significantly higher rate. And I continue to say, COVID-19 is not racist. What are the reasons why? Hypertension, diabetes, high blood pressure, all of those pre-existing conditions impacting our community. And as an HBCU, we need to put the research out to begin to debunk some of those myths. Secondly, our Center for Social Justice will focus on diversity and inclusion initiatives. We will train multiple corporations and organizations and offer certificate and certification programs in diversity and inclusion, DNI work, and we've already started that work. Third, we will focus on prison education. Our focus on prison education, breaking the prison pipeline, offering second chance pale to folks who deserve an opportunity to be educated. Last but not least, we'll be on police education, offering certificate certification programs in urban and rural policing helping develop culture competencies, unconscious bias training, to ensure that we're part of the solution and not part of the problem. And last but not least, our new Center for Global Education, everything forward facing to the community, certificate certification programs, um, offering workforce development training, small business startup. So this is just this one side. We will be doing another ribbon cutting soon. On another side, um, just a sneak peek of the side of the building is blacked out 
That's going to be our center for economic and workforce development to provide minority and women businesses startup opportunities. So this is an exciting time. We're committed to the city of Orangeburg. Uh, the new city manager, um, the mayor, we have worked close. And this is just the first step of many what Claflin University will do down here. I would like to thank the board of trustees. And I think we have one board member here with us. Um, Leslie Price for entrusting me with a vision to be able to do this work. Proverbs 29 and 18 says, without a vision, the people will perish. And so I thank God through a global pandemic, the faculty, the staff, the students, the community has trusted me with the vision to see us through this process. As other institutions and communities are closing during this time, we're prospering. I said then, we won't just survive this pandemic, we will thrive. And this is just evident of the great work that has happened. Last but not least, I would like to thank the folks who have done the hard work that has been here to ensure that this happened. Where's Tammy? Tammy, thank you. Ms. Hudson, thank you. George, I rode past here last night about 11.30 or something like that, and George was still in here sweating. I said, George, are you going home? He said, I can't until this is finished. That's commitment. Again, thank you for your hard work and everybody that played a part in this process. Again, we're excited about what this is going to do. It is hot, so I'm going to get folks out of that sun. But this is the beginning of many more. And Claflin University, we were, this is the year of elevation and transformation. Thank you so much. Let us prepare our hearts now for prayer. I'm gonna start the prayer with these with these timely and ancient words written by Helen Taylor in 1927. Bless us, house, O Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. Bless these walls so firm and stout, keeping want and trouble out. Bless the roof and chimney tall. Let thy peace lie over all. Bless this door that it may prove ever open to joy and love. Bless these windows shining bright, letting in God's heavenly light. Bless the heart ablazing there with smoke ascending like a prayer. Bless the people here within. Keep them pure and free from sin. Bless us all that we may be fit, O oh Lord, to dwell with thee. Bless us all that one day we may dwell, O oh Lord, with thee. Let us pray. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today, O oh Lord, as we gather to dedicate and formally open the Claflin University Downtown Center, we give you thanks. We are grateful, O oh Lord, for Claflin, vision to move the university beyond its traditional walls and to explore new and exciting avenues in higher education. Bless, O oh Lord, the programs that will be housed in this building. We also pray, O oh Lord, for the visionary leadership of our university, the trustees, our visionary president, Dr. Warmack, the leadership team of the university, the president's cabinet, the faculty and staff, student body, board of visitors, well wishes and friends. Bless us this day as we embark upon a new venture. We ask these blessings now in your name, amen. amen. Thank you, sir. Mayor Butler. Good morning to all. It is a great day in Orangeburg, in the city of Orangeburg, downtown Orangeburg. On behalf of myself, city council, we give honor to our wonderful president, who is my president, the, the school that I graduated from, and to trustee uh, uh, Price, and to my wonderful teacher, Dr. McCutcheons. And to all of you that's here, the Claflin alumni family, this is a part of the vision that we have envisioned for downtown to establish foot traffic down here. And 
and, and one of the vehicles that we want to use is to, to have partnership with the universities and get the universities from, a, from a, out of the walls and bring their students out into Orangeburg so that we can be equal, uh, look like the other universities who have downtown buildings that can establish foot traffic. And the vision has begun. We want to thank uh, doc, Dr. Dr. Womack for his vision, and we want to thank uh, Claflin University for working so closely with him to see it come to pass. And I'm going to end with this note, let's begin it. Let's begin now to make it happen. Thank you, and God bless you. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to count to 10 and we're going to cut. <laughs> count loud. Start from 10. All right. 10. 9, Nine. Eight. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 